What is going on, everyone? Thank you for tuning in. We are back, and we got a lot to cover. This is the Unmasked After Show. We're going to talk about Wayne Harris. Bart did a great job tonight, and the Unmasked Show is going on all cylinders as always. So let's kick it off with the intro, and I will see you guys in a second. Scott, what's going on, Scott? What is going on, everyone? It is Tuesday, and this is the Unmasked After Show. I feel like I haven't streamed in a while, so it's going to be great to be back to talk to you guys and just go over a lot of things that I did. But you know what? This is the Unmasked After Show. We're going to talk about the Unmasked After Show or the Unmasked Show with Wayne and, and, and Bart filled in great, man. I got to meet Bart when I went down to Stillwater, had a nice little meeting in the Onion Room, and man, the guy is really down to earth, and he did good on camera too, man. Not anybody can just do this stuff, and he did it fluently, and uh, it was cool to hear Wayne's side of just, you know, him being an audio. I didn't assume that he was in audio since the 80s, but it makes sense why. I mean, the guy created Term Lab, Term Pro, Term Lab. If you don't know what Term Lab, Term Lab is, you must live under a rock. It is the main SPL meter that people use every day. I know. I use the, ter uh, the <laughs> SPL Lab, which is kind of like the Android, but that is the iPhone. That is the OG kind of situation where, you know, it is the tried and true first SPL meter and I mean shoot there's there's a few differences between the two but we're not going to get into that man first time when I got in the car audio what did I see I saw a term lab you know it's just it's it's the the foundation of I feel competing in an SPL with the correct meter uh 
I tried to bring up earlier and he kind of went into it. The, what was it? The BK 2230 or, you know, the older meters of just how they just did not work with sound pressure. And it, it was just a diaphragm and it was just being bottomed out, just like how your phone app doesn't work correctly. And, you know, it, it kind of along those same lines. So, you know, it, it was just cool to hear from his side of the situation of just how that was. Uh, so anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. We got over 25 people in here already. What is going on, SJC? Thank you for tuning in, William. Hey, hey, hey. All here. Great Tuesday for the win. Thank you for tuning in, man. 25, what's going on? Brian Townsend, Aaron T, what is up? Thank you, William. I appreciate you, man. I really do. I really do. I know I, I threw the, the hoodie on, you know, because I it's a little cold out. Fall is finally here. Uh, it dropped below 70 degrees all day today, but I love hoodie weather. And <laughs> it's kind of cold in here. And Kayla, if you know, she's sick. She's got the vid. I'm not I, I was watching the show and I'm like, man, I'm starting to get a little hot in my cor corner of my ear. Turn on the air conditioner. Uh, I'm starting to get cold. I don't know. I, I hope I'll be here Friday. If not, I'm sorry, guys. I have a show Sunday, too. Uh, heck of a time for everyone to get sick. And it's Kayla's birthday today. So it's just it, it's it's a good day, but it's a bad day. You know how it goes. Uh, we're, we're trying to push through it. And, uh, you know, we were going to go to the uh, Hall of Fame, NFL Football Hall of Fame. But uh, that, that didn't happen. <laughs> uh, we got we got to be quarantined. At least she does. You know, you know how that goes. What's going on, Ashy? Thank you for tuning in, man. Deviant has arrived, so the show can start. I don't know if you guys stuck towards the end of the Unmasked show, but they actually showed Pebbles, right? Pebbles with a Living Loud with Andy shirt. That was awesome. Ernie, Deviant, guys are awesome. I'm sure Bill Frog had something to do with it. Appreciate you guys. Uh, and that was just awesome, man. Thank you, Stu. Thank you, Stu. I will let her know. Sometimes she, she watches. Maybe she'll comment if she's watching. I don't know. Sometimes. It depends. <laughs> Today, you never know. The man, the myth. Yes. Colby, Andy looks young again. It's just a filter. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's the haircut. It's got to be the haircut. It's not the background music because it hasn't kicked in yet. <laughs> the Discord chat, man. We even got Bill Frog in the Discord chat. It is lit. Little famous. A and Beardy. Beardy's famous too, man. Anyway, so let me think about, man. I, I did a lot, but I, I do want to talk about the Unmasked show with Wayne Harris. You know, I, I feel like, you know, just the term pro software, which they're doing that giveaway for, uh, which I, I don't know if I missed that towards the end. I know it, they're going to do that. It's going to be a one month thing, you know, where you get to enter. And I think every day you can re-enter and get, you know, more entries. And you know how it goes, like the quad box, the gately box and stuff like that. Uh, they're going to be giving away the term pro uh, software, which is where you can design your own enclosures. I've never used it, but I've heard about it. And I know, I, I, I believe so. If you buy the term lab and you get the event software, you get the term pro software too. Uh, I think it goes hand in hand, but this is just the software alone. Uh, it would be cool if they, you know, threw out a term lab that, that, that would be cool, you know, cause who, who doesn't want a term lab? Uh, but that, that, that's a good thousand dollars right there, but still, still either way you get the software, I've never used it, but I've never used really. I putts around with Winsid and Box Pro, and you know, I'm I'm very simple with with box building apps. Yes, I'm guessing, uh, but there, there, I use a few different ones so I can get a few ideas and just experiences helping me along with that. But the Term Pro software, from my understanding, is going to get you there, kind of in the same scenario as Winsid, but maybe better. I feel like Winsid is kind of. I I, I know people in the Discord chat were talking about it where. Uh, the Winsid software uh, didn't even calculate port displacement after changing the port. And I'm like, really? <laughs> it doesn't that doesn't calculate that? That's that's a shame. But you know, with that kind of software, you might just have to know all the numbers. Maybe the Term Pro uh, software does calculate for it. I know the Ultimate Car Audio app does, and the Kicker one. You don't really have flexibility on port size or depth or <laughs> depth depth or length. I tried saying two words at once. Um, so that already calculates it for you but you can't tweak it that that's the only uh hold back on the kicker app uh the ultimate car audio app you can tweak anything but it doesn't give you what to go with to begin with it gives you port area per cube and, and i mean even that can be taken the wrong way so 
the kicker app does work for that. But uh, I, I, I feel like the, the Term Lab Pro app should, the app, <laughs> Term Lab Pro software for the box building, designing and stuff. And I'm sure there's a lot more to it than just box building stuff. There's probably everything A to Z, power, impedance curves, you know, everything that those apps that I have, I'm sure they have everything in there. Uh, maybe an SPL calculator, eh, maybe not. <laughs> not like they work very well. Just a little, uh, little gimmick, but hey, it's cool to know your SPL, right? Blake, what is going on? Blake, did you hear? I'm sure you heard uh, how DD, um, what was it? They sold um, SoundCube. They sold SoundCube to uh, Sky High Car Audio. I forget his name. I can't, I, I'm, I'm terrible with names, but that's awesome, though, man. It's awesome. Thanks for tuning in. Ernie, what is up? Thank you. Awesome show tonight, man. Got to make a long drive, guys. Appreciate you all tuning in. You know what, Ernie? You are a rock star. <laughs> Have a safe drive, man. El Fuego. He was on it tonight with the uh, question about the Orion uh, 2250 or uh, HC. One of the old school Orion amps. Uh, Wayne's Chrome Terminator amp with the Spectrum Analyzer is the best one. Best looking one of all time, in my opinion. I've never actually seen that. You know, I, I, I can tell you know a lot about him, and uh, I would like to dig more into it. I'm friends with him on Facebook, uh, but, that, you know, that, that, that doesn't mean anything. Uh, so that that's why I wanted to know more about him, you know. And it, I, I was telling Caleb when we were watching, I'm like, this guy's been in car audio for 30 years, if not more, 40 years, 30, 40, you know, about as long as car audio in in the competition and just like what we do as a hobby can be. You can't, It's hard to fit that in an hour, hour and a half. <laughs> You know, this guy's going to have to come on again because uh, I'm like, man, they haven't even got to Term Lab yet. And we're almost 50 minutes in. And uh, but, you know, that's that's the beauty of knowing people that have been in the hobby since day one. And uh, it's just cool to hear their their, their side of things, man. It really is. I probably would have went with the Term Lab in day one. I went with the SPL Lab because uh, a buddy of mine had it and uh, I, I got to borrow it. I used it. It worked. And it was a little bit cheaper. You know, you know how that goes. So, you know, it's not like I'm, 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 you know, ashamed of not running it. But at the same time, I know how to run it, too. I've done it at Mecca. You know, it's it's it's, it's simple like SPL Lab. And they have different pros and cons, you know, of just how they work and their infrastructure with the websites and just how it, like, links to Mecca. It's a lot easier with some things like that rather than using WordPress or not WordPress, uh, Excel. And, you know, just, like, throwing up scores and just, you know, I guess it's the same concept. But they do make it a little bit easier. Uh, and just just the the brand you know it, sometimes just like anything you want to drive a beamer because it's a beamer not because of you know the all-wheel drive capability and all the things it comes with maybe you just want to drive it because it's a beamer <laughs> you know so it has it going for it it's it's a long name and uh good stuff man it's good stuff it's not uh super chats oh my god sjc i don't i i, I really don't know what has happened but Super chats. We got we got we got to share the screen for this, guys. This this is a uh, rarity that this happens. Super chats are working. I I I didn't check change anything with the font like you were saying, SJC. Just restarted the computer, and I haven't went live since. Where it actually updated something on the computer. Oh, another super chat. Oh man, this is great. I, I appreciate you guys so much. Baba, thank you for the $20 super chat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And hit that smash. Hit the smash. Hit the thumbs button. Smash the thumbs button. And thank you, Ashy. I didn't mean to skip over you, buddy. Uh, let's get this started. Happy birthday, Kayla. Happy birthday, babe. Love you. I hope you feel better. You know, to get the vid on your birthday is terrible because we went to Med, Med Express. And took like two or three hours, you know, in the actual processing of, you know, like diagnosing what's wrong. Took five minutes. And uh, I took the boys to uh, Salvation Army, picked up a few things. And uh, come back and, yep, yep, she's positive. I'm like, ah, oh, man. Uh, it, I mean, it's going around. My sister and uh, her husband have it. My neighbor down the street has it. We were at that wedding. Speaking of which, the wedding, Justin, Sam, congratulations. The wedding was awesome. Uh, actually had a few drinks in. No, no, no twisted teas or anything, but uh, either way, it was, it, was a, it was a good time, and uh, I actually got to dance with Kayla. It was great, man. You know how I like to dance, so it was, it was good. <laughs> Thank you guys for the super chats. I don't know why it's working now. You know, when I restarted the computer, you know, last time and I turned it on, I had a different 
background of the startup. And I'm like, why is it all galaxies and stuff? Usually it was something different. And I went through it and I'm like, okay, so it, it updated something. And I'm like, okay, cool. So maybe, maybe that did it SJC since we had some issues, but I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bank on it because I don't trust it. I don't, if it works next time, then may, maybe we did something and now it'll work. Uh, if not, I, I'm not doing anything different. So maybe it's just, uh, you know, out of all the bad things that happened today, maybe this is, maybe this is a good thing for it. <laughs> yes. Make it rain. What's up 25. All right. Let me, sk I, I know I skipped over a few of you guys here. Ernie says, <laughs> I just missed that SJC comment. I got to throw that up. All these apps were developed after term pro. Term Pro is the standard and the best there is. And I and I believe it. I, I Like I said, it was like the foundation, the beginning, the first actual SPL meter. And just, you know, I feel like they are the beginning of the, not the, not the community, but just of what they do, of what we do and how that's built and designed. You know, I, I, I totally believe it. You know, and, and even other meters, SSA. You know, I'm sure they got the idea from something, you know, just like how there's uh, the MTX and those speakers are square, you know, <laughs> in pile. I'm sure they got the idea from someone or, you know, just of how the how, how the square speaker is supposed to flex. They couldn't quite copy it. You know, I, I, I totally understand that. 100 percent. Thank you, Ernie. SJC, you're <laughs> the universe has has come in clutch those super chats better work for kayla's birthday i i don't know if you jinxed it or maybe you logged in my computer making sure they're working <laughs> good old super chat yeah super chat or super chat uh stream actually uh replied back to us and said it was a font i checked the font sjc uh it was at 100 which i couldn't go down it was 100 or 125 so uh i, I again i didn't change anything else i don't know we'll, we'll see all right, let me scroll back down here. Blake says, everyone is asking me about SoundCube when I'm not allowed to talk about it. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the whole thing. Working for a company, you got to watch what you say. You know, comes with it. Yes, yes, I know, SJC. I don't know what happened. I have no idea. <laughs> I know you would, 25. I know you would. Only five likes? Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. And by the way, I think it was John K. that was asking why it was uh, Joe in the video. I can't say the whole name. Goodness gracious. My, 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 my video might just suffer in some ways just with how algorithms and words are these days. Uh, it was just a Amp Dino video, and it was just a quick clip of – I forget exactly what I was doing, uh, but it's actually from a video from Come On Man. It's actually a, a very good remix. Just YouTube, Come On Man, and, and you'll see it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just a quick little ex, uh, excerpt, and it was actually for an amp dyno video. I forget which one it was for. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to think about that. Doesn't do rated. Come on, man. White claws don't count. Actually, I had uh, what was it? They didn't have Jack. I had uh, not Captain Morgan. I had a captain, and then I had Jim Bean and Coke. That's what it was. Jazz Sidewater, what is going on? Thank you for tuning in. Is the Solo X coming out with an 18-inch? I can confirm. I can confirm. They are coming out with an 18-inch Solo X. When? I don't know. Uh, is it going to be released with all this other stuff? Maybe, maybe not. I, I don't know, and uh, I don't think they would tell me either way, you know? <laughs> But uh, hopefully soon, man, uh, I'm, I'm excited. I actually got to see one and touch it. I didn't get to hear it, but I got to see it. And uh, that, that, that was all the difference maker. And uh, just, just seeing the, the revolution, the new version of what I have and actually seeing it, uh, it was, you know, it was tough at the moment. You know, it's hard to suck things in at the moment. Afterwards, I'm like, man, I got to see that. Steve was standing right there. You know what I mean? Like, and, and I couldn't even pull out the phone if I wanted to, you know, <laughs> just because there was a lot of stuff in that room. Uh, but either way, man, uh, it's it's going to be awesome. And I, I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, Cookie Monster, I guess we can call it 3.0. Uh, we'll be on the way soon. But we're going to need more power, aren't we? <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the surrounds on the 10, 12s, and 15s, man. It's a little bit bigger than mine. 
going to need a little bit more power, but it's going to be able to move more. Bore and stroke, man. At the end of the day, what we're trying to do, that's what you need. Ah, uh, come on, 25. I had a drive. I couldn't drink that much, man. I'm retired. Scott Shadle, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in, man. Uh, yeah, I, I think you messaged me a few days ago. I, I have a show on the 18th. It's coming up this Sunday. That's why I'm like, man, she's sick. I don't need to get sick. Uh, I got my show literally this Sunday down Greensburg. I just messaged the uh, newspaper guy that I'm friends with in Greensburg, and I'm going to send him an article on email tonight. Uh, so it'll be in the paper. Uh, so that, that'll be cool. You know, it, it, it's crazy when you start, you know, making friendships, relationships, whatever you want to call it, connections in, in, in life and <laughs> the things you can do. It's uh, it's awesome, man. But you know what? I love just having two shows a year because it, it builds, it builds uh, you know, anticipation for something, you know. Uh, when you have a show every month, I used to have a show every week. <laughs> I didn't have a meter every week, but I had a show every week. And, uh, you know, some turnouts weren't as big and it's just like, uh, okay, we got another base show. You know, it was more of like a hangout at that time in the first year of Team SP Loud. Uh, you, you know, and it was like the, it was the second year and I had shows every three weeks and I was, had competitions every three weeks. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was crazy. I did that for years, man, until uh, last two years. I just had uh, two a year and it, it, it works, man. It works. <clears throat> Appreciate you guys tuning in. Sorry, I'm making you fall asleep or uh, whatever. Uh, just uh, it's been it's been a while since I've been live, you know. And I just did a lot this weekend, and I just want to talk more about the show. If you guys have any questions about Term Lab, Term Pro, uh, anything, let me know. See you, Ernie. Thank you for tuning in. All right. Uh... Yeah, exactly. Uh, last thing I did was make the PC actually fully restart restart and turn on and off. Right, yeah, because we had a kind of, it was like not a sleep mode, but sort of how that goes. Uh, even if you totally disconnected, it would just reboot exactly where it was. The runtime was always running. Uh, so maybe that did something, you know, and just, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Wayne is definitely a cool cat. Absolutely, SJC. Absolutely. He did good on the show too, man. You know, it's it's not easy being on the lights, especially at like a actual studio. <laughs> not your bedroom in a corner, you know, with a camera and a TV connected to your laptop. It's a little different. <laughs> now nah, they did great, man. Scott, what is up? Thank you for tuning in. I hope I don't get sick, man. I want to make Friday. Uh, I've been missing these Friday shows a little too often. How you doing, man? Ah, my nose is itchy. All right, let me scroll down here. Do, 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 do. We doing a thing for Chris Barber. We did. We did for Chris and for Tony. Uh, we did that little moment of silence. I, I, I swear you were there. Uh, Chris Barber and my buddy Tony Straub both passed away, both base heads. Even Chris Barber, like Scott, was uh, around Team SP Loud in the very beginning days. Uh, when we used to have a show over just every week, pretty much that's when he started coming and, uh, man, it's, it's a shame, you know, that's why we have to appreciate every day. We are alive on this world and this earth and, uh, appreciate, the, appreciate the little things you really have to, <laughs> it's not in the paper yet. It'll be the, uh, Greensburg post Gazette. I don't think it's going to be like a full article like last time, but something, you know, so people that actually still read the paper and you'll still see it online because that's just how the newspaper is nowadays. Uh, you'll see a little, a uh, little ad about our show. I'll try to get a little bit more thorough this time. What's kicking Andy. You know what? I totally forgot. I got the discord chat over here all lit up for no reason. I totally forgot to go on to Facebook and have the kicker club comments up on my phone here so I can see you guys. Good old stream yard, no groups, doesn't work. Ooh, okay, let me uh, make sure this is muted. That is Marshall Royalty. What is going on, Marshall? You know what? I seen you got, uh, you did a lot of mecha competing with the term lab. 
Uh, I think he went to the state finals, and you got first or second place. Uh, DB1, DB2, DB1. No, yeah, DB1. Either way, he has uh, two, I believe, CVR 15s and a fourth order band pass and a big Suburban. Did really good. Good job competing, man. Appreciate you hanging out here. Tune it in. All right, let me see here. RGA, what is up, RGA? Stu, have you not seen my lives? Speaking of your lives, you need another one. It's been too long, RGA. I I, I finally finished the seven-hour one like a day or two ago. You know, I was cleaning the garage. Speaking of which, I was doing a lot of cleaning, rearranging stuff. I actually installed an air conditioner in my garage. Hey, why not? Um, but yeah, man, it's due time. It's due time. <laughs> You know what? Maybe not next weekend because I have a show this Sunday. You can't do it this Sunday. Just kidding. Next Sunday. I'm going to miss it. Actually miss the Steeler game because uh, I have my show Sunday and uh, I think Steeler games one o'clock. My show starts at 12. So I might try to have that running in the background so I can see how they're doing against the Patriots. How about them Steelers though? Want to know? I uh, thought we were doing something else the next show, but I do remember, hey, whatever, you know, you feel like you think we could pull off, just let me know, man, and we'll we'll try to make something work. I do a lot already in putting these shows together and just trying to get everything aligned and the finances and just doing everything I do here. It's crazy, man, and anything on top of it uh, might slip through the cracks. Uh, you got to remind me, but, you know, with stuff like that, hey, let me know. Let me know if you can think of anything. I, You know, I, I'm down for a lot of stuff, man. All right, let me scroll. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Blake says, Andy, you can just hop into 14.4 full voice chat. Yeah, yeah you know, that, that would work. Yeah, it might get a little bit of back, back background noise or whatever. Uh, but yeah, man, hey, cool, awesome. AC, you got to have the AC in the garage, man. You know, I... I, I why I did it was I picked up a few air conditioners at Target. I know I, I haven't seen you guys in a while. I did a lot. Um, picked up because they had a bunch on like sale, like 70% at Target off. And picked up, I know, a uh, external uh, portable air conditioner, but I got it for the living room for reasons. And that's what's in the garage now. I was going to use it in the garage, but the pipe wasn't long enough. And uh, so I wound up just swapping them. Now I got the old living room air conditioner in the garage, and then I picked up another one. I got a spare air conditioner, which I still kind of need to install somewhere else. But, you know, it, it'll be just good because, uh, you know, it gets hot. <laughs> it gets hot, and, you know, those things ain't cheap. <clears throat> $150, $200 pop, uh, and I paid $50 and $80 for both of those together, you know, one each, respectively. Uh, it was a deal. Uh, so I did that, but, yeah, I had to cut a hole into the wall <laughs> in the garage and put it in there, and it keeps it fairly cold in there uh right now it's kind of hard to tell because it's not hot but even whatever was real humid outside and it was like 73 75 it was a good 65 66 degrees in that garage it was cool it was brisk and uh, sometimes that's all you kind of need working those late nights in the garage instead of having the garage door open one you're losing a little bit of light two you know you don't i I don't really mind people watching me working in the garage, but if I had the choice, yeah, I could shut it and stay nice and cool. Absolutely, man. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, cool. Um, yeah, I know I got a lot of stuff going on too with uh, kicking with Andy's show. <clears throat> what we're going to do next week is talk about troubleshooting. <clears throat> Sorry, I, I am not kidding with you guys. I felt fine all day today. <laughs> Half is placebo, I swear to God. <laughs> Find out she's got the vid. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> I'm feeling good. Uh, but either way, man, you know, it's just uh, it's going to be an awesome show with troubleshooting. And got to make the short for that. Get that together. I want to get some, you know, good slides for you guys. You know, and I feel like troubleshooting is my strongest part of car audio. Yes, I love a lot of stuff. But figuring out something that's wrong with the system and going through it of just being wrong so many times and figuring out things the hard way. And I've learned so much, you know, and just rigging things. OK, <laughs> you know, and it's like the normal person might not think to rig something because they've always done it the right way. 
And uh, sometimes the rigging way is the only way in that kind of situation until you have more money or you're not on the side of the road anymore. I, I, I'll never forget. And it was just recently. Like I've done this a lot with a lot of things with helping people, but with with uh, with Bobby Gately, you know, and, and, and Duncan, Steve Duncan, you know, big names, you know, and they're trying to test these remote wires. The amps are shutting off and they're like, what's going on? The voltage is fine, but the remote wire is sending crazy stuff. And I'm like, dude, why don't you just take a separate battery? Set it on the side and hook up each amplifier with the battery just sitting there instead of, you know, trying to find out what relay is bad on your, on your switch and sending too high a voltage, sending the amp in the protect. And Bobby was like, man, that's that's actually a really good idea. <laughs> you know, I love troubleshooting, figuring out what's wrong with whatever the system is, you know, and it just I want to help you guys, you know, because like, yeah, I can help, you know, so many people physically message here. But I want to have content here, too, that you can take and be like, OK, well, if I ever, you know, run into something, that's probably what I should look for, you know, and just simple stuff. But we're, we're going to get into it. I think it's going to be a really good episode. El Fuego with a twenty dollar super chat. Thank you, El Fuego. Donation to the Andy McGill family. <laughs> Any family get well fund on behalf of the 14.4 volt discord crew. Thank you, El Fuego. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh Discord is lit, man. It, it's it's just cool. You know, you, you have to ask Deviant if you can be invited. I know Saber wanted to get invited. Bill wanted to get invited. And I'm like, hey, I guess this ain't my thing. You got to talk to Deviant. You know, he's he's the guy who runs it. Deviant for life. You know him, 25. You ever heard of him? You got to talk to those guys. Uh, but, man, it's it's awesome. You know, even Bill Frog's in there. So it's not like something crazy, like some, you know, I don't know. <laughs> so it's just a awesome tool where we can all talk. 24 hours a day, keep your notifications off, well, not off, but the ringer off, you know, and, and come in and say hi when you got a minute. It's exactly what I do. Reach me on there if you got some something crazy or just want to show me or anybody in the chat. And, and I and I think that's uh, awesome that they have that, you know, just for the community. It's awesome. Appreciate your super chat, El Fuego, and uh, thanks for always tuning in, buddy. Too many mosquitoes with garage door open. Amen, brother. <laughs> Amen. I got that turbo heater. I'm good in the wintertime, but the summertime, it's harsh. <laughs> Bill Frog knows how to rig things. Absolutely, he does, and I can verify that. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Baba said... So, Dub Team, just send it again to your Hotmail. Okay, you guys are side jagging. All right, let's see here. Blake, one of my friends is an expert at fixing her car with random stuff. She fixed her transmission with a fork one time just for a long, just for long enough to get home. Hey, you know, if I, I guess with a five speed, yeah, if you're if you're uh, stick brakes, <laughs> you know, <laughs> got you got to be able to shift to get home. Uh, or, or whatever the case is, man. Right. And, and I guess you can call it MacGyvering. There's other words we're not going to say here. And, you know, and it's just rigging something. And, you know, I feel like, yeah, but you, it, it works sometimes, you know, <laughs> a little bit of duct tape fixes everything, right? <laughs> or a fork. Appreciate you uh, hanging out, Blake. You know, I, I know you guys missed me last Friday, you know, with, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, man, MBE's live. And uh, just know my know my live after because I know how I know you guys roll in there then you roll in here, and uh, I appreciate that. And uh, you know I I could have done it, but and and I was I was sober by then it was ten o'clock, um, but my voice was gone from dancing and you know yelling having a good time and uh, no kids for a few hours it was you know my voice was kind of. I, I sounded like Chris Collinsworth on Sunday Night Football. Let's just put it that way. And I'm, I'm not going to pull a Chris Collinsworth. <laughs> I'm like, man, I can actually listen to this guy. His voice isn't as annoying because <laughs> it doesn't sound like his. <laughs> hey, maybe you might think that way, too. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Scott Reynolds. Thank you for tuning in, man. I tell many people to use phone audio into amps to eliminate head unit problems or cable problems. Uh, to use phone audio into amps. So you mean phone audio? You mean uh, uh, ooh, 
I mean, you could you tap your phone into it, right, uh, to eliminate head unit problems or cable problems. Um, right, and, and that's one way you can test to see if you have a problem with your head unit is a uh, 3.5 jack, you know, that would go to your headphone connector on your phone uh, to an RCA. And they make those uh, female to male, male to female. I think in that case, you would need male to male. Um, but yes, absolutely, man. And, and they work, you know, just to test something, to see if you have an issue, to see if your head unit's good or bad, or to see if, you know, your, your pre-out's bad, where, you know, your amp's turning on, but you got no sound and your subs are hooked up and, and, and you're wondering why. And here <laughs> you got to switch wired on your freaking head unit uh, off for your sub out. Or you have it hooked up to the wrong RCAs on the back of the head unit, you know. But if you didn't know that, you didn't test there, uh, you might unhook the subs, take them all out of the box and be like, oh, well, why isn't it working? What's going on? Test and impedance and all that kind of fun stuff. And uh, the basics. But, you know, the average person, you know, their amp doesn't turn on. They're like, oh, no, I, I, I broke it. You know, like, I, I get that. I get that. And, and, and that's what we're going to talk about, man. <clears throat> That's just how I've learned things, man. <clears throat> Pulling everything apart, putting it all back together, still being at the same situation and being like, oh, that was my problem. So I needed to test that in the very beginning. <laughs> but I learned along the way and experience and time is priceless, you know, and, and I seen I think it was Drew or, or somebody made a post about uh a box being built through a blow through and the quote was like four grand. And I'm just like, you know, yeah, it's a lot of money, but, and so was the guy, but it's the time and the experience that you're paying for that those people. Yeah. If they wanted to do that, you know, I, I get it, you know, but still, still that's, that's very valuable information is your knowledge that you can give to someone else. And I feel like, you know, when you get something done, people just, uh, they look at the product of what they're getting, uh, the actual labor cost, or not even labor cost, but just parts cost, and you know, an average hourly rate of twenty dollars an hour, and, and you can't go like that. You know, even eighty dollars an hour in in some situations can be shortchanging yourself of just what you bring to the table. You never want to shortchange yourself, man. Appreciate you guys hanging in there, man. Appreciate you guys just uh, always tuning in. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> if it's stupid, it works. It works. Absolutely. Absolutely. Elbow cough for the win. <clears throat> I always be elbow coughing. Always. <clears throat> exactly. I didn't grow up on a farm, but I feel like I'd fit in well. <clears throat> Very low voltage, not ideal, but it works, right? Because your batteries can dish out a lot of power. It, 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 car batteries are meant for starting power. Voltage drops down to 8.4 volts. You know, your, your battery is dropping heavy voltage when you start your car. It could be brand new, stock car, nothing. It's, it's dropping. Your voltage is dropping. It's a lot of current to crank that engine. So your battery can run at that lower voltage, but are you doing damage? Yes, any battery that you are pulling a lot of current out of out of its percentage of capacity what it can give you uh it's just going to shorten a life no matter what you no matter what kind of battery you run uh so that's why it's better to have more than enough and that's where you know how much capacity how much charging input you know and then then you start going down that road <laughs> hey <clears throat> all right cool do, 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 do. Stu says, I wrote my install. I wrote on my install bay door frame about 18 years ago. If it's acting funny, check the voltage or check the ground. That's funny. Hey, you know, and, that, and that's how you learn. That's how you learn from day one. And it's like just something on the wall there just so you never forget, you know, almost where you came from. One, two. So you don't forget to check your voltage either. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. <clears throat> RGA, first time I got nailed by a CRT flyback transformer is memorable, for example. Wow. Uh, I know transformers, they got a lot of gigawatts up there, man. Uh, you're lucky to be alive. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, 
I'm trying to think if you guys have any other questions about uh, the Unmasked show with Wayne Harris. Bob, I'm, you need to slow down, buddy. <laughs> you need to slow down. And I, I tried to throw that up nonchalantly. <laughs> $50 super chat from Bubba. Appreciate you, man. Uh, let's see. Uh, rain has been called for. The super chat was sponsored in party by the 14.4 Talk Discord crew. We got nothing but love. Be sure to support your favorite streamers like we do. Appreciate you. You know, you guys just together as a team, it's awesome. And, uh, man, I, I feel bad that I missed uh, audio advice, sound advice last night. We had a very close store. And I listened a little bit here and there towards the end. And, I, you know, whatever. I tried to comment as much as I could. Uh, and, I, and I try to support to them, too, because I in, in, in Vega, you know, and in, in 12-volt talk and stuff like that and the other streams that I'm not on. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's just uh, you guys are awesome as a community. And what we're doing is uh, groundbreaking. It's never done been done before in our uh, car audio hobby, man. You know, those old school guys can say all they want. We got something, too, man. You know, I can't wait to tell my story in 20, 30 years about what I've done and stuff. And, you know, some of you be around, some of you won't, you know, and, and those days will come. And uh, I'm just happy to be part of it, man. You guys are awesome. Baba, love you, bud. Thank you for the super chat. You guys are nuts. Yes, Baba is the man. 100 <laughs> percent. Baba, I mean, man, I could I could I could talk to Bill. I know it's supposed to be only for uh, people that have been on the Unmasked show, those kicker cups. But. I don't know. I, I'm sure we can figure something out for you, man. <laughs> oh, man. I, I think El Fuego needs one, too, and Bobby B. You know, just the guys that, you know, and, and a lot of you guys do. You know, I, I think that they, they they could do something, but it's just, you know, the, the custom work, and, you know, you want things to be special. You want things to be special. Like, I, I got mine right here, and I won't drink out of it. I think it's awesome. It's got my name on it. Living loud, Andy. Living loud with Andy. There's no width, but it works. <laughs> it works. And it's just the unmasked cup, man. Uh, maybe maybe something like this would be cool for you guys. I mean, these are even cool by themselves, man. Just the unmasked cup. It's just you know a regular cup, nothing crazy, you know. And they're they're cheap, a couple dollars, not even. Uh, they definitely work. <laughs> you never have too many kicker cups because then you know one day you go to drink out of a kicker cup and there's none that are clean. It's like oh, I need more kicker cups. <laughs> it's bad. Appreciate you, Baba. And oh my goodness, you guys are nuts. I got another super chat. Jaquan, I seen you super chatted for Justin. Toyd, appreciate you, man. Uh, Jaquan with $20 super chat. Sorry, I'm late. Here's some more beer money, bro. Thank you, man. You know, I appreciate that. I did just re-up on my Jack Daniels, uh, my bottle that I had in my fridge for three years. But I, I eventually drink it. It's usually for Super Bowl uh, or Steeler Sunday. And... Uh, so I re-upped on that. So that definitely went towards that, man. I appreciate you. I really don't drink. I don't. <laughs> Retired. Retired, actually. Uh, got enough drinking in for a long time. So I'm good. And, you know, it's just, uh, just don't have time. I don't have time to do all that. I, I you know, I, I got to have a clear mind with stuff when I'm working on stuff. I'm not the uh, the best at uh, multitasking. So uh, my mind starts veering. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, you know what? Uh, I'm doing this speaker here. You know, what? maybe that needs done in the garage over here. And oh, I can almost do this over here. Nah, nah, I won't get nothing done. <laughs> Appreciate you, Jaquan. Patreon as well. Like Bubba, man, you guys are awesome. You guys are killing it. Love you guys. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I can stop sharing my screen here. That might help a little bit. Got 36 people in here. What is up if you're just tuning in? If you got any questions about the Unmasked show, this is the Unmasked After Show. We are here just to conversate about bass, kicker, car audio, term lab, term pro, kicker, unmasked, A to Z, whatever you got. Uh, that's what we do. Uh, da, 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 Andy will sent it. Give him a little time. Where are the cups at? Uh, Kicker.com. Literally go to... Here, I can pull it up for you guys. I like their merch stuff. I, this, ain't, this, ain't a merch, this ain't a merch commercial. Swear to God. Uh, but I love their uh, their merch, man. It's uh, awesome stuff here. Here, what you want to do... Might as well start sharing my screen again. Actually, I could go over here. Share screen too. We'll pop this guy over here. 
Sorry if the audio glitches. I don't hear any glitches on my end, uh, but you know how it goes. Uh, are you going to show the screen or what? Um, <laughs> what the heck? Did you see that? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Anyway, uh, so if you go to gear and you go to stuff, this is where you're going to find the best stuff, honestly. Uh, got the amp tool. It's got like Phillips, Flathead, Allen Keys. And uh, right here, kicker on mask cup. It's cheap too. Two bucks. Come on, man. Free shipping too. I, I, I know on a lot of stuff. I don't I don't think there's a minimum order. I, I, I never bought anything under like fifty dollars on kicker, but I believe uh, within reason it's like honestly <laughs> free shipping. Uh, now if you bought just that, maybe there's some shipping. Um, a little baby bib mask just in case, you know. They work great. Uh, <laughs> kicker cup, <laughs> the tumbler. I just, I, I got one of these guys from, uh, kicker sent me one, man. Those things are awesome. Appreciate you guys. And I just got, they sent me one of these too, man. Uh, I, I appreciate those guys so much. It's the little things. Literally, they just sent me two of these and I'm like, man, you guys are, you guys are awesome. But, oh, you know, it's out of stock. Darn it. You know what? That's probably why, uh, you know, some things they just run out and, uh, that's why I got about, uh, 900 lanyards right now. <laughs> <laughs> if you need a lanyard, let me know. They are awesome, man. You can never have too many lanyards either. You know, one one breaks, you lose one. Uh, one for your friend, your wife, kids. Who knows, man? Everyone needs a lanyard. Oh, and this camp chair, totally, totally underrated for $45. This thing is huge. Like, you can almost fit two people in it. It's huge. And it's $45, and it's super stout. It's got, like, a back pocket in the back here. And uh, it's just very good material. I, I got a kicker tent too. They don't sell that, but I got a kicker tent and man, is that thing like, just like anything. It, it is built great. <laughs> it's, it's solid stuff, man. It's solid stuff. Uh, koozies, of course, which they got both koozies, which is cool. Uh, they got the regular koozie and then the unmasked koozie, just in case, you know, you can get third, second or first place. You can get fourth place. You can buy a koozie. Uh, it's always there. <laughs> no, nah, it's cool that they have those there because you can never have too many koozies either, man. I know you guys drink beer. Those koozies are great for the uh, car audio shows, man. And a uh, little light and seat. The only thing I don't have, I don't have a seat. I got this plate, which is cool. I got two of those. Uh, but this is like the cool stuff. I I, I really do like the, uh, the stuff section. That's where you're going to find the good stuff, 100%. <laughs> Hope I answered that question, Jaquan. It is good to see him again, too. It's okay. How much is the Term Lab stuff? Well, I think the Term Lab starts at around, ooh, it's it's either a thousand, and I think it's like 800 without any of the sensors. And if you're looking at clamp, one clamp and one meter, uh, SPL meter, you're looking at like $1,200. And I think that's the Magnum. So in, 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 in there's there's the Magnum and then there's the, oh, what is it? Oh, I should know this. Not Magnum. Rebel. Rebel. The Rebel's the cheaper one. Magnum's, I think, the good one. Anyway, just more capability, more, more sensors, stuff like that. I've only used one meter and one sensor, but a lot of other organizations like ISPLL, they'll use one clamp and three meters and have them all running together in three different scores. You can do a lot of stuff with the, uh, the term lab with just, you know, I mean, SPL lab too, you know, anything, uh, but either way, uh, that's, that's about 13, $1,400 you're in. That's, you know, the reason why I kind of went with the SPL lab because it was half the price. Uh, but you know, I, I feel like with anything, you know, there's, there's pros and cons, man. There really are, you know, I can't use my SPL lab for a mecha event. Now you can for two X, uh, <laughs> finally. Uh, but it's, it's, you know, it's, they like to keep it with one meter, and that's half the reason why you're buying that thing. Uh, it is a event-recognized meter, and it's been around since, what, 2002, 2003? And, uh, man, I, I would like to get my hands on one just to have it. I almost purchased one. I really did. I was thinking about it, but I'm like, hey, eh, maybe not. Maybe in the future. Let 
John K. Andy, have a blast this weekend. If I didn't have family stuff going on this weekend, I would have loved to make the drive for the show. Hey, it's okay, man. Thank you, buddy. And, you know, I know, I know you're pretty, you guys are all pretty far from me. And I, there's some guys that travel five, six hours. Like it's a slamology show, man. They're, they're nuts. I appreciate you guys coming out, man. And uh, when you can't, it's okay, man. Hey, appreciate you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Joaquin. Okay. Jaquan. I've always called you Jaquan though. Joaquin. Okay. You know, so it's silent. I, I, I get it. I am so sorry. Joaquin. <laughs> I'm, I'm still going to call you Jaquan. <laughs> Just how I know you. It's okay, man. Sorry about that. Yes, we got David up in here. He is lurking in the waters. That's why he's coming at like 50 minute mark here. <laughs> there ain't no kicker clock there. What do you mean there ain't no kicker clock? It's right there. I, don't scare me. I thought it fell. My cat likes to go after it. He'll 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 jump in this room and, you know, get in here through Fort Knox because I have a blocked off. And he'll get in here and he'll 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 go after that clock, I'm telling you. It's all good, brother. I try, man. I try. <laughs> it's just I've said it wrong for so long. Joaquin, Joaquin, I'm gonna have to remember that one. <laughs> bring them to the show. What do you want me to bring to you to the show, Scott? Thanks for tuning in on YouTube, by the way. It's a lot easier to just uh a better app to watch live streams to be honest the amp tool is freaking awesome too pretty sure you can repair your engine with it if you had to amp tool is that with the term lamb i i don't know about that that'd be crazy if you could it would you know give you ways to test an amp and you know how you test parts of amps to see if they're working other than continuity I, 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 I can't say. I can't say, Ashy, but I, 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 I needed one, and uh, one just uh, showed up. You know, my other one uh, got destroyed in a storm in my driveway when I was putting in the quad box. It was like literally halfway through the quad box, and uh, I left the tent out overnight because I was going to come out the next morning and finish the build, and, you know, the car was kind of all torn apart, big 10 by 20 tent. And, uh, yeah, just say the rain won. Uh, <laughs> lost a two hundred dollar tent, uh, so it was just uh awesome for you know yeah, it was awesome, and I've always wanted one man you know uh shoot come on, <laughs> come on, I, I already got the kicker banner in front of the SPL lab and the uh, TV at the shows you know it's just it's gonna go, and I'll I'll, I'll be bringing the Coronet kicker box it's gonna be there it's gonna be there and people are gonna love it, <laughs> it's gonna be lit, I can't wait. Andy said Magnum. Yes, Term Lab Magnum. Got to get the work stole for Cornut. Yeah, he's always working on something. Always. I see him. I see him in the chat. <laughs> RJ waiting for Andy to realize I inadvertently tried to help him say the right name because I'm a nice guy. Hey, I'm sorry. You know, I appreciate it. I appreciate RJ. That roll around shop is awesome. I know I, I I seen a lot of people grab that thing, and I I, I think it's I, it's one thing I just don't have it. I think that thing is awesome. I just uh, yeah. I you know what? Yeah, because there's that one, and then there's the bar stool. Yeah, that is cool. That's like a got a little hydraulic in there, and you can move around and just yeah, absolutely. I mean, a hundred bucks ain't bad, honestly. I I've seen them at Harbor Freight for like eighty dollars, and it does not say kicker on it. So I mean. And that's Harbor Freight. So <laughs> I bet you're getting really good quality with that. I just know how it is. I mean, shoot, with all the other stuff they got. <laughs> that Ernie, that chair is awesome. That chair is awesome. It's so comfy. When I'm at my shows, I'm just like, relax. I'm just relaxing, you know? <laughs> it's like, I don't want to get up. This thing's nice. It's huge. It's huge. Not that small of a guy, but man, do I just sink in the thing. <laughs> Shop seat.
Hey, it's okay. Well, Keen, it's all good. See, I'm getting it. It's all good. Take your time, man. I'm, I'm slow with stuff, too. I got some other things to do here and things to make and videos to make. And, oh, uh, man, I really just need to get on some stuff. But it's just like the time. The time and just right now is just kind of we're already full tilt boogie. Our clip light is is bouncing. And it's like, okay, I, I don't need to do any more. <laughs> I can't do any more. We just got to wait. We got to wait, and it'll slow down. And then this guy's going to want to turn down his volume eventually. He's going to get out of the car, right? <laughs> Come on. Come on. That's how every freaking amp's feeling right now. I know the pain. <laughs> oh, man. If you ain't clipping, you're tripping, man. Quad box. I've been dialing that in even more, man. It sounds so good. Oh, I need more power, though. I need more power. Uh, I need more speakers. I need more amplifiers. I just need more. Not in the way of just more because I want more, need more. It's just like to make it even more well round, like speakers in different areas, um, you know, more for like tailgating kind of speakers and, you know, outdoor. I, I think that's so cool. But it's it's the daily. It's it's the daily. So I got to watch what I do, where I do. But man, does it sound beautiful. <laughs> it sounds beautiful. I think what I'm probably going to do eventually down the road is add another four channel amplifier to power my tweeters, my center channel and my rear satellites, even though I don't need them, but just so that there's more, more sound. And I'm going to get rid of the tweeters that are up front. And I'm actually good because my KS 3.5s have tweeters in the middle. I don't need a one inch dome tweeter. I can use it for something else. Throw more 3.5s up there. So I got more of a front stage, you know, to keep up with that loud bass. Uh, if you're talking SQ, maybe three 3.5s in the front dash isn't what you want. But for what I'm doing, and they might fit, should fit, uh, it's probably going to be my route eventually. Uh, one step at a time, as always. Uh, man, you guys are awesome. It's already been 56 minutes, but uh, we're going to run it a little bit later. Just not too late, but a little bit late. You know how it goes. Uh, the kicker amp tool. I have three of those. They are awesome. Oh, you're talking. Oh, the lanyards. Yes, they will be at the show. That's that's the point. I've, I've been bringing them to Mecca shows. I brought them to the Team Base Outlaw shows. Uh, pretty much hand them out to my friends and family. You know, <laughs> here you go. And uh, just anybody that I come in contact with, you know, and they're right beside me all the time. And uh, absolutely, that's what they're for, and uh, for free. So grab one or two if you like. <laughs> absolutely. I know I was handing out these lanyards, Ernie. Okay, let me hear this out. I'm, I'm handing out these lanyards, and then they're like, you "Guys, got any stickers?" I'm like, "Oh, come on, man! <laughs> I don't got no stickers. I got a couple at home, but I don't got them with me." So I, I think stickers are cool too, uh, man. <laughs> Uh, people, it's okay. It's okay. They, they I, I feel like some people think that I am just a kicker employee, like a, a person that just, you know, and it's like, no, I'm just, I'm just Andy McGill. I'm just living loud with Andy. I'm just that guy that, you know, has the kicker, you know, and a couple, couple kickers. I don't, <laughs> I just really like kicker, man, you know, and here you go. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, uh-oh, 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 SJC says, Diamond Box ain't got nothing on Core Nut Box. Oh, man, don't get me in with it with Tony. Because I see his 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 Diamond Box, you know, I'd be loving his posts and everything. I'm like, yeah, that's nice, but uh, yeah, that Core Nut Box, man, it, it, it's got you. It's got you. It's not as portable as the Diamond Boxes. I'll give them that. They're always trade-offs. Yeah, Core Nut Box is going to be louder. It's going to be louder. It's going to have more bass going to fill up a room way more it's almost overkill on the base when you have it inside somewhere it's booming dude it's booming three three rooms down is it sounds like someone's outside my house boom basin you know what i mean it's a lot of bass and the mids and highs totally keep up with it when you're right in front of it to the side i mean it's just two 6.5s on on a marine head unit uh i'm definitely going to hook it up in a way so i can have some outdoor speakers i already talked to gordon about it it's going to be awesome man if you haven't seen the kicker Cornet kicker box. Go check out my videos a few videos back. Uh, might see a caboose there. That's the easiest way to find it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah, that shop still is awesome. Mm. 
Jason Stabs, Stobbs, thank you for tuning in. What's up? First time watching the show live. That's awesome, man. You know, and I feel like a lot of people do rewatch these, I, you know, and it's just awesome to be able to interact with you guys. Today is just uh, the Unmasked After Show. Uh, talking about the Kicker Unmasked Show where they had Wayne Harris and, and Bart take the role of the host. Uh, he did awesome. And uh, we, we, we have fun here. Uh, but we're here to learn. And if you got any questions, man, this is where you ask them. This is where you get your answers asked or your answers asked, your questions answered, questions asked, and uh, all that fun stuff. Appreciate you tuning in. Glad you made it to a live. I, I feel the same way with a lot of live shows that I've like stumbled across and then I finally catch them live and they do interact uh, depending how big or small the channel is. And uh, it's, it's awesome, man. Thank you so much. And uh, welcome to the team. All right. Let me scroll down here real quick. SJC, five banners, I would rock and garage, kicker, Rockford Fosgate, Lanzar, Phoenix Gold, and Orion Soundstream, maybe. You know, that, that would be awesome. I, I see a lot of people that have uh, a lot of stuff like that in their garages, you know, just all different brands, you know, back in the day. Um, man, you know, even it's not like I'm just kicker. You know, I like a lot of other brands, too. Alpine, yeah, Rockford Fosgate, Orion, you know, they make good stuff. A lot of brands do, you know, and it's just which ones that you have that emotional tie to and ones you like, Hey, that's what you, that's what you do, man. All right. Let me scroll down. Cornut box. Oh, a king. You got to go check it out, man. The kicker cornut box or the cornut kicker box, whichever way you want to take it, man. Thing is awesome. Uh, literally has a 12 inch kicker comp C uh, I think it's dual four wired at two on a CX a 400.1. Uh, it's got a nice 68, 70 amp hour or amp power supply to it. Uh, no battery, um, but it's semi portable. You can pick it up by yourself and just take it anywhere. It's like your, you know, if you'd have your shelf speakers, you know, you would have your radio receiver and like your two shelf speakers, but way better, <laughs> way louder. All kicker stuff, man. It's awesome. It's awesome. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me scroll down. I'm so far behind, guys. Yes, welcome, Jason. Archie Ann? Arcane? Ar hey, I'm sorry I mispronounced your name. <laughs> Archie Ann? We spoke multiple times, forgettable moments for sure, and I just want to bang harder. But damn, now I suddenly feel bad for not knowing about this channel. New sub and keep it up. Thank you, man. Yeah, dude, I I just want to bang harder. That's the page that I created, man, four or five years ago. Uh, just in spite of the I just want to bang controversy and just how that guy runs his page and likes to block people. And uh, oh, we've had controversy and I just want to bang harder too, man. Uh, <laughs> hey, happy you're here, and uh, thanks for tuning in. I do this every Tuesday and Friday, either 10 or 10.30, and sometimes every other Tuesday at 8.30, all Eastern times. Uh, thanks for tuning in, man. Appreciate it. I know I kind of feel like I fell off on the I Just Want to Bang Harder, you know, group. I had to put a lot of time and effort into Kicker Club. I let my buddy Troy Underwood pretty much take over I just want to bang harder just because it's just, it, it was too much. And it was, uh, I don't know. I, I, I like kicker club. I really do. It's, it's become something, become something. <clears throat> John K. Andy, what's your favorite dirt cheap brand? You know what I'm going to say. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say. Boss for the win. Not costs. Boss. Boss for the win. Sorry, 25. You know, yes, you're not getting the power, <clears throat> but you're getting something that'll last forever, like literally indestructible stuff. And but if you're looking for something to get you by and still, you know, not mislead you and still be what for what? I mean, it's hard to say scar in a lot of cases just because maybe not the amplifiers and the reliability, you know, and just. On the, on the lower end stuff, I just don't know enough. But I feel like 
Scar is a reason why they're so successful is because they hit that niche of just being cheap and giving you a lot of performance. If you want to call just SPL born stroke and some power for cheap and may not be the most efficient power and performance for your dollar, who cares about longevity or just quality control? Who knows? Uh, maybe it is better or worse. I don't know, you know, but just from my opinion, uh, good stuff for that person 100 i still need to run that 18 I, I i got my other box i need to finish up for that to do a video on that it's been sitting here forever that's what i mean i'm so behind on videos and stuff content is is there and uh be doing a lot more uh blogging stuff and man <laughs> writing stuff and doing these shows it's 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 gonna be crazy man i'll let you guys know about that too now, bows is a different story. I mean, I've kind of grew up on bows, you know, seeing those in people's houses. Um, not like it was terrible, you know, but the price was just, I could never afford one, you know. <laughs> and then, you know, is that what you really want? And I don't know. There's, there's pros and cons with that company, too. Great show, Andy. Thank you, Scott. Enjoy listening while working. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. And, uh, you know, I, I do that a lot, you know, between lives at work or, uh, you know, 3 a.m. listening to you guys, rewatching you guys, uh, whoever it may be. So I appreciate that, Scott. And uh, hopefully I see you Friday, you know, with her having the vid and the kids. I already slept in Bryson's room last night because I was not taking a chance. <laughs> uh, and now knowing that was a pretty good idea. So uh, hopefully I survive the storm um, <laughs> and I see you Friday, man. All right, let's see. Da, 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 da. No highs, no lows, must be Bose. I I feel like Bose has highs and lows, and they're just pronounced more. So it sounds like it's louder, like the JBL curve line. I did that video on the boom boxes between the JBL. I didn't have a Bose. A JBL, a kicker, down for sound, uh, bass box, and... Uh, I think I had JBL Flip 5, but I didn't really throw it in there too much. I had the Bullfrog 400 and 100, uh, but it was mainly with the 400 Bullfrog versus the JBL Extreme 3 versus the uh, Down for Sound Bass Box. And the JBL got really loud. Like, in my opinion, the JBL got really loud and sounded better at lower volumes. And then once you hit that point, no matter what EQ you had it on, it just kind of didn't sound any better than that and just got a little bit louder not much and the bullfrog was more it performed better at a mid to loud volume compared to the jbl that exceeded better at the low not so much low but middle volume it really exceeded it just sounded like there was more bass in there than the bullfrog and then when you turn it up full tilt boogie uh, it was kind of hard to tell the difference. And it, the, the, the kicker just sounded clear, if that made sense. Uh, the high end was a lot more distinguished. Uh, and even on the graph chart, it even showed uh, the JBL kind of curved off and so did the down for sound. Uh, but the down for sound kind of had a hard time getting in the gate. <laughs> uh, it was half the price as all the other competitors. They were all three, 350 So for $150, bucks, uh, it, if all you want is music outside and you don't care, you know, entirely of all the little details and the features and maybe the sound quality compared to those two uh it was the right choice so it was it was a pretty cool comparison but i don't do boom boxes uh for my channel because it just they don't do good um <laughs> i'm not a boom box uh, specialist and i even watch their channels on how they do them and a lot of them don't even go into the depths that i did and i'm like man but and they have so many views but that's what they do and, and, and I see it with some home audio stuff, not toyed and all Justin and not toy, not Justin, but toyed and uh, a few others where they actually know what they're talking about. Some I see they got like a million subscribers and this guy's like, yeah, it's got 300 watts by two. And I'm like, oh, OK, okay. Um, I'm going to watch this, even though. Yeah, I'm just going to watch this. because. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just it's not for my algorithm but i love boom boxes and just stuff like that and, and and bows you know all highs no lows uh man you know i i feel like they have their place too just like the jbl does and in a lot of other brands man i really do 
Man, this feels like a Friday, man. You guys are you guys are driving me nuts here, side jagging me. Just saying good night, happy birthday to Kayla. Appreciate you, man. Uh, again, thank you, thank you so much. I don't know. Oh, oh, mom, how you doing, mom? You got to tune in on my actual channel, Kicker Club. It's kind of weird. Love you. I uh, hope you guys are feeling better too with Aaliyah being sick. And uh, see you soon. And thank you. Uh, we'll, we'll try to celebrate with everybody, but man, <laughs> every time we go around people, we get sick. <laughs> No fun. Appreciate you tuning in. Deviant says, Andy doesn't know this yet, but soon as he hits 3,000 subs, he is out of town. The 14.4 Discord. Nah, man. I, I just hit 2,400, by the way. 2,400 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you, guys. Um, But no. <laughs> no. Uh, man, I, I just feel like, especially with me doing this, how I do this here, and having this, you know, community, there's no way it's going to happen. There's no way. Now, I might be able to, I might miss a few of your comments once in a while. Once we start hitting a little bit more people coming through, you know, I it, it, that that may happen. But I will not miss you guys. I will not forget about you. I swear to goodness. <laughs> Scarbage works. He's got a point. I mean, it's not, it's not terrible. It's not. It really isn't. But it's not great. It's not great. But you know that walking in, or at least you should with the price tag. And that's how any brand is, man. That's <clears throat> how any brand is. <laughs> Cost headphones that had both ears working was a rarity. Cost for the win. I got a pair of Cost headphones. I got to try them. I need a 3 8 to 1 quarter inch jack uh, producer. <laughs> Andy, Bose highs. We talking 10k amp, uh, 10k and up. That was the JBL. Uh, JBL and the down for sound really dipped off. The uh, bullfrog was straighter for longer. We got a super chat, man. I love that the super chat function is working, and I'm so behind. Thank you, Cornut. Love you, buddy. Kicker Cornut box for the win. Uh, oh yeah, and by the way, thanks for the flashlight. I forgot to show you guys this stuff. I don't want to blind you, but if you've seen my post, this thing is super, super bright, ever ready. I don't know if you can. There we go. We're upside down. Awesome. Thank you, Cornut. Appreciate you, man. Literally could shoot the neighbor's tree and light it up like it was daytime. Freaking awesome. And then we got to go over William's stuff here, too, since it's sitting here. And uh, we're at the end of the show anyway. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I seen Justin's here. What's up, buddy? Um, not to production yet. But the NGA wireless bass knob, this thing is awesome. Literally wireless bass knob. Uh, RCA, so this will work with any amplifier um, or anything that has RCAs, man. And uh, what's cool about it, I know the down for sound amps, uh, you have to plug them in. But the kicker amp, you don't, it has a battery. Uh, I, I believe you can do both with this. Um, it has a built-in battery. And there's a little switch on the back here. Lights up. And then uh, bada bing, bada boom. And uh, shows like the volume and uh, voltage. But since I don't have the voltage connected on this end over here, this needs plugged in. Uh, so you would hook that to your 12 volt source, source uh, with a relay and uh, you're good to go. Which is just uh, awesome, awesome stuff, man. And uh, I cannot wait to use it for the amp dyno test, which I'm going to revamp my entire amp dyno um, <clears throat> for more than one reason. I want to uh, move it from I want to move it from over here to over there, where I did uh, the Walmart video with all the amps. I like that with all the amps in the background. Why not have the amp dyno section right there? And uh, I'm going to get a new table for over there and for the amps, something that I can strap. Uh, between batteries, power supply, amplifiers, uh, resistive loads, reactive loads, space for that, and have space for that to put that all there. And uh, I, already, I already know I got a good area for a shot of how I want to do it. And uh, put a casting couch over here. Just kidding. Literally, though, I want to put a couch over here. One so I can sit here, edit my videos, get some space in my head. And uh, also... What would be pretty cool is if I ever would ever have anyone come over, I could literally 
down the road when I have a new computer and uh, literally have someone here on the show and interview someone, you know, someone that's local. I think that's pretty cool. Maybe even have Kayla on here and call it kicking it with Kayla. You know, <laughs> I think that's, you know, I, I, I'm ready to try something different, switch it up a little bit. And with all this new stuff coming in, the Boss Amp, which is just huge. Man, if you haven't seen that on my Facebook or my Patreon, man, you guys got to go check it out. That Boss Amp is huge. I was going to bring it up here, and I'm like, where the heck do I put it? <laughs> There's no room. There is no room up here. I'd have to take out that sub, and it would still be taller than it. It's huge. I'm telling you guys. Appreciate you again, Cornut, for the super chat. Love you guys. Ooh, man. Mm. absolutely william <clears throat> i had to man i appreciate you sending me out this i cannot wait to test it and try it <clears throat> these aren't available yet but they will be and you will know here first if not from william himself man uh said it will work with anything that use rca okay chat what's the most random thing you could use that's wirelessly set up with <clears throat> i can't I mean, you, you could just hook it up to your phone, plug a source in through there, but then that wouldn't be very wireless. Yeah, I don't know. Figure out something. Wireless RCAs for wireless base knob with wireless Bluetooth base knob radio head unit wire, with wireless speakers. We need everything wireless, okay? <laughs> you guys are nuts. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Let me scroll down here. I know I've missed a few comments from you guys. Man, we already went one hour, 15 minutes. I mean, I haven't seen you guys in a week, and I just had a lot to talk about. And I mean, shoot, had an awesome Unmasked show. We are still going. We are still going. <laughs> Walmart Jensen amps for the win. I, you know, with Dual, I think Dual bought out Jensen. I mean, they're, 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 they're hand in hand. Um, and Dole's another one, man. You know, the speakers, eh, the radios, eh, the speakers, mm, eh, you know, but like Boss, you kind of know what you're getting, but with Boss, not so much. With the power ratings, they're kind of unrealistic. We all know that. We all know that. But with Dole, yes, they're going to put a max power rating, but they also put a reasonable realistic rms number which may or may not be a reason why that they're selling more or less than boss audio i don't know but i mean shoot man i i we've been down this subject a million times but you know you you have a 1500 watt amp and it's this big and it's not a full bridge and it says boss on it you're gonna go and tell your friends you got 1500 watts you know and that's just how it is and uh it hits it hits that 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 clientele of people man and you know what more power to them, you know, but we're also here to tell you, hey, maybe if you pay twice as much, you can get four to five times, if not more, the power that you're getting there. And the reliability might just be the same. And at the end of the day, you're just going to be happier with more power and better equipment, maybe more efficient too. AV amplifiers are not very efficient. And a lot of boss amps are other than maybe they're uh, not even there. What was it? I think it was... Uh, Oh, Dub Team was telling me that the AR-1500 was D-Class. It is a B-Class. The a the Armor Series is a B-Class. I looked it up after the show. I'm like, there's no way this is a a a D-Class. It's A-B. It's A-B. It's just small. It's small, but it's, uh, I mean, it's only 150 watts. So, I mean, it can be A-B. Ashy, appreciate you, man. Got to talk to Ashy on the phone this weekend. It was great. Uh, sign up for Andy's Patreon or you're going to go sterile. <laughs> it's only a buck. Save your nuts. <laughs> no pun cornet. <laughs> oh man you, you got me on that one appreciate you ashy awesome guy again always tuning in from the beginning man you, uh shoot <sighs> love you guys i really do you know and just being able to be here and you know do what i do and do this it's an awesome show and it's an awesome time and uh i just want to keep bringing more and more content for you guys man and and more stuff from the money i get from you guys it goes right back into more stuff that we can do uh, just man, I'm, I'm excited and, uh, I appreciate you guys. I really do. I really honestly do, man. You guys are awesome. Ashy, appreciate you, man. Wirelessly living loud <laughs> with Andy toaster. I mean, I've seen worse. I've seen, I've seen worse. 
Scott says you can only stack wirelessly sing wireless signals so many times before you get latency issues, right? I don't think if it will be an issue with base, it would just be hard to rig that ragged edge of clipping, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't know about all those lines with the clipping and the Bluetooth signal and how that's being sent. Well, honestly, it's just all RCAs. All you're doing is putting a bridge in between this, and all it's doing is just the attenuation is being adjusted from the base knob itself to this. So there might be a, a, a latency delay with that, but not the music itself. But right, <laughs> if you had your RCAs that were Bluetooth and they were transmitting from fr front end of the vehicle to the rear, um, like purely Bluetooth between head unit and amplifier, I mean, it's the same thing with your Vizio soundbar. My Vizio soundbar is Bluetooth. There's no RCAs running from the front of it. And I'm sure there's some latent latency issues too with that because uh, the rear satellite speakers are connected to that subwoofer that is receiving a signal via Bluetooth. So can it be done? Sure. But is it practical for cars and, you know, working for everybody in a product that can be sold? Probably not. Now this, this can't. <laughs> This can because uh, all you're doing is you're putting a bridge in between it and you just don't have to run RCAs up to the front. My pilot, I got RCAs. Well, if I had a head unit, I'd have to run RCAs from the head unit to the amp and then to the amp to the base knob and then the base knob back to the amp. You're taking one step out so that you don't have to run RCAs front to back again <laughs> that you already have on one side. And when you have a lot of runs and you've got a lot of stuff going on, uh, it may may or may not be ideal for you to have all these RCAs being ran. If you could do it wirelessly, uh, it saves a step, man. I, th I think it's just awesome that they have that, you know, and everything's just kind of back there. And this is on its own power supply, you know. Uh, you can charge it or you can just have it tapped into your car. You turn your car on, it's charging, you know. You don't have to worry about it. And uh, uh, you unplug it, you know, you can use the battery. Uh, I think that would be the best way to use that. But yeah, man, uh, I, I feel like with technology, there's always going to be limitations. But uh, with time, there's going to be more technology available. <laughs> Excellent motivational tool. The judges have deemed this ad most acceptable. <laughs> oh, no. Shouts out what? Oh, no. What did I miss? Oh, the wire. Was it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. No. No. Casting couch, a black one. Sadly, they would never get the job. Yeah. No, there's only one Kayla. No, but it is a black leather couch. <laughs> it's in front of our fish tanks right now in our uh, fish room. So. I always shout it out, Ashy. Always. I try. Oh, my God. He ran it all the way through. Hey, as long as it ain't swearing and it ain't too far left field, I don't mind. Uh, within reason, like everything we do. You know what I mean? William, the owner of that Bluetooth base knob. Uh, it is Bluetooth hard-coded address, so it only sees itself. Keeps out of other Bluetooth's, uh, I guess, frequency range. Uh, if battery dies, USB-C in charge keeps using. That's awesome. And uh, I think you kind of thought of everything. I know you want to do more stuff with the line, the products, and, you know, what you're doing here. Uh, man, it's an awesome to be able to try this thing out and use it on the uh, new Amp Dino uh, setup I got. And it's going to be awesome, man. And uh, shoot, I don't know. I, I, I'm so excited about it. I just It's it's terrible because I know there's some things I got to do before I even get to mess with it. Um, but when it's running, it's going to be worth it. Appreciate you always tuning in, man. Really do. It's full range, 20 to 20, if not more. <laughs> I've been 50 feet away, no issues, but uh, I prove it to 30 feet like any other Bluetooth. Right, right. And I, I know there's different Bluetooths, man. There really are. Oh, man, my nose is getting stuffed up. I think we end this thing. Yeah. Make it rain. We'll end it. I will see you guys uh, Friday. As long as nothing goes crazy, Scott, I'll keep you in the loop. Uh, and then this Tuesday will be the Kicking with Andy show. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it, man. I appreciate you guys watching. I love you guys so much. You guys are awesome. Super chatters, people tuning in, new guys tonight. Thank you, guys. Uh, man, and uh, I guess I'll see you uh, on the next one. And, uh, yeah, we're all keyed up. See you on the next one. Stay living loud.
Love this music all kind of music especially the intro music get you going love you guys and uh i think we had a caboose i think it was ashy right here it's the last live yeah that's that's the last one man you guys are awesome man L until next time i guess you know i guess Devi okay deviant ain't gonna slide oh my goodness it all just came in deviant then corda and then bubba with the super chats oh you guys are awesome love you guys bubba got this one i'll see